Hi students, in this video we can uh, learn how to perform the subtraction operation over binary system, octal system and hexadecimal system. So before that just uh, remember these points like in binary system we have two symbols they are 0 and 1 and binary means as a base 2 system. Okay, so consider the given pattern for binary subtraction. The number is like this 111101 minus 100101. So as usual start from the endless bit big position here it is 1 and 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Value 0 and for value 0 the representation in, uh, representation in binary system is 0 only. Again 0 minus 0, 0 again and the representation is 0 and 1 minus 1 and a 0 value and for value 0 the representation is 0 and 1 minus 0 the value is 1 and that value in binary is represented like this. Again 1 minus 0 the value is 1 that value 1 is represented like 1. Okay and 1 minus 1 again 0. Okay so this is the final answer of the subtraction. Next case 11001010 minus 1001011. So consider this case here step from the LSV position here it is 0 and here it is 1. 0 minus 1. 0 minus 1 is not directly possible. So what we want to do we need to borrow from its neighbor. So this is the neighbor position. Here we have a value 1. So we can borrow. So while borrowing Remember this while borrowing, reduce this value by 1. Here it is 1. Then reduce by 1 means 1 minus 1. Here value become 0. Right. And the borrowed value here in this pos position. Here we have uh, actually borrowed from this neighbor position. Right. So after borrowing in this location, the borrowed value become 2. Why? Because the borrowed value become 2 here because this is the base 2 system. So borrowed value here in this position it become 2. So as a total here we have now value 0 plus 2, 2. From that value 2 subtract this 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 only. For 1 here we have a representation that is 1 itself. Right. Now here left with value 0. 0 minus 1, not directly possible. We need to borrow from its neighbor. So consider its immediate neighbor. Here actually the value is 0. 0 means nothing. So we can't borrow directly from this location. So consider its neighbor. This one. And here it is 1. So we can borrow. So while borrowing, reduce this value by 1. 1 minus 1 is. Now this position with value 0. And the borrowed value borrowed to its immediate immediate next location. So the borrowed value here it become 2 now. Okay. From the 2 we need to borrow to this location. So while borrowing from this 2. Here it reduced by 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Here it become value 1. And the borrowed value here it is 2. Okay. So from this. 2 plus 0, the total value available here it is 2. That 2 minus 1, value is 1 and for that 1, the representation is 1 only. Right, then here it left with value 1, 1 minus 0 is 1. Right, then 0 minus 1 again. We need a borrow from its neighbor, not possible to borrow from this location because here it is 0 only. So consider its next neighbor and here again it is 0 so we can borrow and consider this. So here it is 1 so we can borrow from this. So by borrowing the value reduced by 1 that means 1 minus 1. Now this location having value 0 and the borrowed value first moved to this location and the value is 2 here. Run that 2 borrow to its next location. So while borrowing from this value, here it reduced by 1 and it become 1 here and the borrowed value here it become 2. And from that 2, borrow to this location. So while borrowing, this reduced by 1 and the borrowed value here it is 2. So here now total value 
2 plus 2, sorry, 2 plus 0, 2. From that value 2, subtract this 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Right. And we can write this one here. And in this location, now we are at left with value 1. That 1 minus this 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Again, here this location left with value 1. 1 minus 0, 1. Then 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. So this is the final answer of this subtraction. Uh, next is the octal subtraction. So just remember this point in octal subtraction, octal system. We have 8 different symbols like 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 7. And this is the base 8 system. 8 different symbols are possible. So let's consider this case. 2, 5, 3, minus 1, 6, 7. So by subtracting, the uh, start from this LSB position and 3 minus 7. This is not directly possible, so we need to borrow from its neighbor. So consider this neighbor position. Neighbor of this 3. Here it is value 5. Value 5 is not equal to 0. That means we can borrow from this location. So remember the same thing that we have discussed in our pre uh, previous case of binary subtraction. So by borrowing, this 5 get reduced by 1. That means 5 is reduced to 4 now and the uh, borrowed value here it become 8 because this is base 8 system. Okay, so while borrowing from this location, uh, here it reduced by 1 and the borrowed value in this location it become 8, base of the system. So as a total, here we have now value 8 plus 3 that is 11. From that 11, we need to subtract this 7. Okay, so 11 minus 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, the value is 4. So for the value 4, here we have a direct representation that is 4 only. So we can write this 4 here. So next consider the subtraction, your value left with 4. From that 4, we need to subtract the 6. 4 minus 6 is not directly possible, so we need to uh, borrow from this location. Right, here value is not equal to 0, so we can borrow from this location. So while borrowing, this value get reduced by 1, that means 2 minus 1, 1. The borrowed value here it become 8. So as a total, here we have now value 8 plus 4, that is 12. From that 12, subtract the 6. 12 minus 6 is value 6. And for the value 6, here we have like, like uh, here we have a direct representation that is 6. So we can write the 6 here. Next, 1 minus 1 is 0. And the representation corresponding to 0 is 0 only. So this is the final answer of this subtraction. And this is the second case uh, of subtraction in octal system. So start from the LSP position, 1 minus 4. 1 minus 4 is not directly possible, so we need to borrow from its neighbor. But here the neighbor, immediate neighbor of this one is 0. We can't borrow from this location, so consider its neighbor. So here it is, value 3, which is not equal to 0. So we can borrow from this. By borrowing, we need to reduce by 1. So this becomes 2. And the borrowed value pass to this location first. So while passing, this become, the borrowed value become 8 here. Total it is 8. Okay, from that value 8, borrow to this location. So it reduced to 7 here and here it become 8. 8 plus 1, 9 total. From that value 9, subtract this 4. 9 minus 4 is 5, value 5. And for that value 5, we have a representation that is 5. So we can write this. Next, here left with value 7. From that 7, subtract this 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. And we have a direct representation for this 5 here. So write this 5 again here. Next, 2 minus 5. Is this directly possible? No. So in that case, what we want to do? Borrow from its neighbor. 
So it's immediate neighbors this location and this location is having value 5 which is not equal to 0. So we can directly borrow from this location and by borrowing this value reduced by 1 and this become 4. And the borrowed value here it become 8. So as a total in this location we have value 8 plus 2 10. From that 10 subtract this 5. So again 10 minus 5, 5 and 5 for, for this 5 we have a representation 5. So write this 5 here. Next 4 minus 1 value is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. For that value 3 here we have a representation that is 3 only. So write this 3 here. So this is the final answer of this subtraction. Okay. Okay, next is the case of subtraction in hexadecimal system. So remember this in hexadecimal system, the base is 60. Base is 60. Okay, and here left with 16 different symbols like 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. And after that, for value 10, the representation is capital A and for 11, capital B, 12, capital C, 13, capital D, 14, capital E and 15, capital F. These are the representation available in hexadecimal system. So, consider the subtraction. 9654 minus 5342. So, by subtracting 4 minus 2, the value is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. And for the value 2, here we have a representation that is 2 only. Next, 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 is value 1 and value 1, the representation here it is 1 again. Sorry, 1 itself. So, we can write this 1. Next, 6 minus 3, value is 3. And 3, the representation is 3 only. Okay. Next, 9, 5, 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5 means value 4 and the representation for value 4 is 4 only. So, this is the final answer of this subtraction. Next, 9, 7, A, B minus 3, 2, B, C. B minus C. Start from the left bit, uh, LSB bit position, okay. So, B minus C and B, the representation B is for value 11. So, consider this as value 11 and C, consider this value as 12. 11 minus 12, is directly possible? No. So, we need to get a borrow from its neighbor and this is A. A means value 10. So, pass a value to this location as a borrow, so while passing a borrow, here it reduced to reduce by 1. So this 10 become value 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. And the borrowed value here it is the base 16 system. So the borrowed value here it get a value 16. So as a total here now value 16 plus 11. That is 27. From that 27, subtract the value of C, that is 12. So, 7 minus 2 is 5 and 2 minus 1 is 5. Sorry, 2 minus 1 is 1. That is value 50. So, consider here, for value 15, we have the representation F in the hexadecimal system. So, for 15, write the representation F here. Okay. Next, 9 minus B. Here, this location, after passing a value to this location, here it left with value 9. Right. From that 9, subtract B. B means value 11. 9 minus 11. Is this directly possible? No. So, take a borrow from this location. So, this become reduced by 1. That is 7 minus 1, 6. And here it is 16. Okay. So, total here we have value 16 plus 9, that is 25. From that 25, subtract this B. B means value 11. So, while subtracting, we get value 14. And for the value 14, here we have the representation E. So, write this E here. This is 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is value 4. And for value 4, here we have the representation for all here. Write that 4 here. Next, 9 minus 3, value is 6. And for 6, here we have the representation 6 itself. So, this is the final answer of the subtraction.
This is the third case A, B, C minus D, B. Okay. C minus B. C means value 12 and B means value 11. 12 minus 11 directly possible. 12 minus 1 is, sorry, 12 minus 11 is value 1 and represent this 1 here. Next B minus D. B means value 11 and D means 13. 11 minus 13 is not directly possible. And we need to take borrow from its neighbor and thus neighbor here value A. A means value 10. From that 10 take a borrow. So by passing a value to its neighbor here it reduced by 1. So this location with value 9 now. And here it get a value equal to 16. So total 16 plus this 11. 16 plus 11 is 27. From that 27 subtract this D. D means value 13. So while subtracting we get 14. And value 14 we here we have the representation E. So write this E here. And here left with value 9 and here we have no other symbol or no other value. So we can directly write this 9 down here. So this is the final answer of this subtraction. Okay, so this is the principle of subtraction in binary octal and hexadecimal system. Okay, thank you.